All right, well, our dopped up cab's ready to go. We're going to give it a final shape and then on to polishing. In this wild golden band, you can see... So here are two pieces of ore that we're going to take a look at and slice up today. These came out of one of my load gold mines, but you can clearly see the presence of copper minerals. Uh, we also have some pyrite, some calcopyrite, and bornite as well. In some of these pieces, I've been able to find some tiny pieces of free milling gold. So I think these two specimens here are good candidates um, for slicing and then polish up some beautiful cabochon specimens. So for you guys that know and have been to base camp, this is some of the material that has actually contributed gold to the placers below that we're working today. So this is a six wheel cabbing machine that we're going to use to polish up the slices of ore once we get them cut. And here I have my trim saw. We got a six inch blade on here and, and it's fairly thin but it's heavy enough to where you can cut through quartz and very hard minerals. We put some water in the reservoir. We're going to grab our chunk of ore and we're going to figure out how to slice it to where we can hopefully have some really nice mineralization. We have a natural crack in the stone running down here so I'm going to slice it along there and see which direction we're gonna get the best cuts from. Let's put a little too much water in the saw, but more water is better than not enough. You see it splintered right down the crack, so we got a long cut. And then it broke. But this material is extremely hard. This is the first piece we sliced. As you can see, there's a lot of fractures and veins in the rock. But what's really interesting up here, the mineralized fluids are seeping into any crack or crevice within the rock. And this mineralized vein right here is intruded with, in this case, pyrite. So if you have gold and hydrothermal fluids, all the fluids get pushed up through cracks and crevices. That's how the veins form. This darker streak right here was a bigger crack that was filled and cemented back shut. Now, I'm not sure this slab is going to be strong enough for cabbing, but here's some more interesting features you can see on it. The little pyrite. That kind of looks like gold right there. Ooh, that might be a little piece. Look at that. Now that very well may be a piece of gold. So this material is so hard and solid that this little saw is having a hard time cutting through it. There's so much quartz and metal in this rock. I'm gonna cut a smaller piece right here and we're gonna work with that. Look at that waterfall. And there we have it. And we're gonna take another slice off of this for a cap. Here are sliced pieces of the ore. As you can see, there's some really cool veins in there. I haven't yet inspected it very closely for free milling gold, but we certainly have copper minerals, pyrites, sulfides, pretty neat stuff. So we're gonna give it a polish and see how it turns out. I'm gonna start out here on the medium coarse wheel just to shape up the cabochon, and then we'll progress down the way from coarse grit to finer to finer, all the way to final polish. So this one is naturally wanting to be kind of a teardrop shape, so we're going to continue that shape, refine it, and make it beautiful. So here we have round one of shaping complete. You got a nice little egg shape. You can see the little veinlets. So now that we have a nice preformed shape on our cabochon, I'd like to dry it off here in the light and give it a little heat just to dry the stone off. And next I'm going to attach it to a dop stick. In this case I use little metal rods and my preference is to use gel super glue. I got a gold pan here. You look at all that color. You can see garnets in here. There's also a whole bunch of gold. Here's a closer look at that giant slab of vein I was talking about earlier. Uh, this thing's just unbelievable. Just look at this. So 
like a giant pound and a half package of bacon, but in this case, it's a gold ore. All right, well, our dopped up cab's ready to go. We're gonna give it a final shape and then on to polishing. This stone's pretty challenging to cab because the areas of quartz are much, much harder than these soft areas over here. Now we're on to the 3000 grit final polish, the pink wheel. To get the cabochon off the dop stick, uh, this is a metal rod. I'm gonna hold it with some pliers, hold it over the heat, and when the metal gets super hot, it'll warm up the glue, loosen it, and I'll be able to pry the cabochon off the end. There you have it. So here are four finished stones. I'm gonna try to put an even higher polish on these. We're gonna apply a little bit of 14,000 grit diamond paste and polish one of these up and see how she turns out. It looks good, we'll do them all. Just rub it in. Make sure your hands are clean so you don't cross-contaminate grits, but I wanna rub it really well into the wheel. See if the polish is better than what we already have. All right, well here we have our four stones. They turned out beautiful. Look at these things. This triangle one I'm definitely gonna make into a pendant. This one also has a beautiful pendant shape. And these two down here, the first egg-shaped one and the second piece we're gonna be giving away in the giveaway today. I'm gonna pull out the USB microscope and we're gonna take a closer look at this ore. Here we're looking at the cabochon I polished. This is the one that's actually gonna be in the giveaway. We're somewhere at 70 times magnification and you can see the pyrites. We have two varying different kinds of pyrites and here we have a little stringer of malachite. Look at that little vein and it comes down to this malachite blobble. It's so cool. So certainly copper minerals added to that mineralization. In this wild golden band, you can see how the iron minerals are leaching out of that pyrite. It's just so cool. Man, this microscope thing is awesome. Let's take a look at some other golden minerals as well. This is a two plus gram Colorado nugget. You can see some quartz still within the gold. This is an Australian crystalline gold specimen, which is really glowy and wild. And now we're gonna take a look at some flower gold. These are shots of super tiny flower gold, somewhere, you know, 50 to 100 mesh. And finally, arguably some of the most interesting material in the entire world. This is Koroit Boulder Opal. Man, I love working with this stuff. Just look at all these wild veins, a colorful flaming opal. It's just so cool. I really appreciate all your support, guys. Uh, we're gonna give away two of these gold ore cabochons we cut today. To enter, you gotta like this video, be a subscriber to the channel, and guess the carat weight of this cabochon to the second decimal place. Put your guesses down in the comments section below, and for a chance to win the second cabochon, go over to our Colorado Gold Camp Facebook page, Drop a comment on the post and share the post as well. We will be selecting one winner of a cabochon from our YouTube channel and one winner from our Colorado Gold Camp Facebook page. Thanks for watching guys and heavy pans my friends.